Okay. Welcome to I don't think I ever talked to this one. Terminal 3. Here in the financial district, a number of businesses offer various goods and services to their exclusive clientele. The statue you see before you was commissioned to honor the Krogan soldiers who gave their lives to protect Citadel space during the Rachni Wars. In the aftermath of the Krogan rebellions, several embassies petitioned to have the statue removed. However, this motion was eventually quashed by the Council. Good. Uh, Krogan Rebellions? Tell me more about the Krogan Rebellions. In recognition of their efforts could during just turn the around and ask Wars, Rex. the Krogan were granted several new colony worlds by the Council. Over the next 400 years, the Krogan species began to expand. Blessed with an extremely high birth rate, their numbers began to swell. Faced with a critical overpopulation crisis, the Krogan started a violent colonization of nearby worlds inhabited by other Council species. The Krogan rebellions had begun. For a full century, the Council and its member species fought to bring the Krogan under control. With the aid of the newly discovered Turian Empire, they were ultimately successful. Sounds like a vicious cycle? Sure. You needed the Krogan to stop the Rachni, then you needed the Turians to stop the Krogan. So who's gonna stop the Turians? <laughs> I am sorry, but that question is beyond my programming parameters. The Turians are members of the Citadel Council. They are not a threat to galactic peace. But are you sure? We're chasing one right now. <laughs> Memorial statue... Why did the Council fight so hard to keep the statue? The Krogan were instrumental in saving the galaxy from the Rachni threat. The Council believed this historical fact should not be forgotten. The Council also hoped that preserving the memorial would improve diplomatic relations with the Krogan and bring about a peaceful resolution to the rebellions. Unfortunately, the Krogan refused to negotiate and only surrendered after their population and homeworlds had been ravaged by the Turians. Served them right? No, there's no way I'm going to say that. Especially not with Rex standing behind me. Rachni what Wars. Were the Wars? Nearly 2200 years ago, explorers seeking to expand Citadel space opened up mass relays leading to systems controlled by the Rachni. A highly intelligent and aggressive insect race, the Rachni unleashed a war of conquest against the rest of the galaxy that lasted for nearly three centuries. The emergence of the Krogan finally turned the tide in favor of the Citadel species. Krogan forces provided the numbers necessary to halt the Rachni advance and drive them back. The Krogan then pursued their retreating fleets. Able to survive the harsh environments of the Rachni homeworlds, the Krogan hunted their enemy to extinction. Oh my goodness. That's a little extreme. Okay. Was it really necessary to wipe them out? I am sorry, but a value judgment of that nature goes beyond my programming. <laughs> okay, fair enough. That's Let's all go. For now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. <laughs> Caden is spazzing out because I'm running into him. Oh dear. Uh, let's see. Ugh, ugh, lag. It burns. What? Fist is dead. It seems like all the best lounges are being replaced by places like Cora's Den. The embassy lounge isn't bad, but they don't have any decent entertainment. It's run by bureaucrats. They probably spend months just voting on what kind of entertainment <laughs> <they> get. <laughs> You're probably right. Eh, he's probably right. This is this is definitely true. Okay. Um I did resolve the issue with the Yes. Okay. I did resolve that issue. Then let's go and check in with the... With the consort. Since I... What? What time ago, though? I barely remember. What drew you back to the Citadel and to the consort? Wait. Who's talking and where? Oh, this person. It may sound strange, but I no. felt called. No, this... They're talking. That's not strange. Many of us have felt the same calling, though you are the first of your kind to respond to it. Really? I hadn't seen any other humans working here, but I didn't want to ask. No doubt you are just the first of many to come. It's only a matter of time now that your species is spreading its wings. 
why was there a comma instead of a period? <laughs> I'm I'm kind of mesmerized by this guy's outfit. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm staring at your outfit. <laughs> I'll be on my way. Yuki doogie. Let's go check in with her. Cause I did what she asked. Go inside, Shepard. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. You're welcome. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. Glad to help, no problem. Let's talk payment. I'm glad to help. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. Well, I also then, have one more you're thing stupid. To give you, if you are interested. Of course, very. What is it? Sure. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see the sadness behind your eyes. It tells a story that makes me want to weep. Pain and loss, but it drives you, makes you strong. Okay. That strength is what kept you alive when everyone around you was dying. You alone survived. You will continue to survive. This may well, be thanks. who you are, but it is not who <clears throat> you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. Very astute, thank you, that's it. <laughs> okay, very astute. You have quite a gift, Shaira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. I will Dear not. Commander, in light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. A trinket? Thank you. Okay, thanks. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now well, I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Okay. No problem. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. I will. Thank you, Shayura. Okay. Uh, I saw I had to level up, so let's let's deal with that. Yuki dokie, what can we do? Got two points to spend. That's not very much, but it's something at least. Um, <coughs> let's put another point in specter training and another point in warp, because I really want singularity. Give me singularity, okay, Caden? What are we gonna do with you, sir? Um. Ooh, advanced overload. More shields couldn't hurt. Let's do that. Okay. And Rex. Rex, what shall we do with you? What shall we do with you, sir? Assault rifles, fitness, Krogan Battlemaster. Um, let's max that out and put another point into assault rifles. Okay. Good to go. Good to go. So let's go. Da -da -da. Please don't yap. Thank you. Otherwise, I would have to stand there and listen to them. Let me look at my map. Is there anything marked? What's this? Oh, Avena. I don't care about Avena. Oops. No, why do I keep doing that? I wanted to do this. Embassy lounge. Right, I don't want to do that right now. Oops. Why did that go away? <laughs> um. Okay. That appears to be it. What's this about? Citadel rapid transit towards access. Citadel tower. Seasec Academy, Emporium. All right, let's find the nearest uh, rapid transit station and go to Seasec. Where, where is it? I think this, there's. Oh, there's one right here. <laughs> I'm not blind. No, I want this. Thank you. Um. 
Wards, locations. Oh no! Okay, I do have them all. Good. CSEC. Yeah, let's go there. We can check in with Spectre... The Spectre shop. Whatever it was. Spectre acquisitions or something like that? Requisitions. Requisitions! That's what it was. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. I have arrived at CSEC Academy! Oh my good golly gosh. Um... Map. Oops. Stupid me. Stop doing that. Okay. We actually want to go the other way. This way. Right? Yes. This looks familiar. Okay. Hello, good sir. Ooh, you have a keeper. Thank you. Do you have anything in here that I can loot? No. 